welcome back to another video on the Enchanted Basin. If you're new here, hi, I'm Jenny. It is very nice to meet you. I like to do videos that are Halloween or witchy oriented, vegan taste tests, craft with me videos, and chronic illness awareness chats. Shout out to all my fellow Spoonies. For today's video, what I wanna do is a uh, spooky small business shout out. I haven't done one of these videos, I think since December because I basically was sick since then. Um, and I've gotten a few things over the past couple of months during recovery, you know, a little treat to myself. To <laughs> say you can do this. Um, I had a heart open heart surgery, if you're new here, in March. And so it's been a process to recover. And so, uh, um, yeah, I've got, got a couple of things over the past couple of months. Some of these things actually just got very recently. But I thought I would share them with you all because as we start Halloween decor hunting, you know, I love the big box stores. I love seeing what we can find out in the wild. But I also really love supporting small businesses. And I think that's really important as we're really heading into spooky season. Well, really, it's spookier for me. Who are we kidding? So I've got several things here today. I'm really excited. The first thing I want to show you, oh Lord, the lighting. I have my uh, ring light on for the first time in a while. I haven't been doing it. Well, whatever. Um, oh, also my purple hair is looking, I don't know, extra purpley. I'm really happy about it. First thing I want to show you is what I'm wearing today um, is this cute little zombie crop top. I got this from Oblong Box Shop. Um, I saw, I think it was Midge Munster had posted something about them on her Instagram. And I found them and I was like, I love their stuff. And they were having a sale at the time. So I got this cute little crop top and it's actually a pretty good length. Um, I, you know, I'm short 5'1", but for me, I don't ever wear crops because they just look, I don't know, maybe I'm just self-conscious. <laughs> but I really like this one. I think it fits really well. It's super comfortable. I also got a sweater from them. It's this cute little pink and black spider web sweater. Granted, now it's like a thousand degrees here in Ohio. So this is not the time to wear it, but I thought it was super cute. It was on sale. I think either in their clearance section or they just had it on sale. It's like a three quarter length sleeve, which I think is really good. It'll be great for fall, which fall with some skirts and boots, you know, I'm already ready for that. <laughs> I will, for every single one of these, be posting a link in the description to the company's Etsy or whatever their shop is, um, as well as their Instagram if they have one, so you can follow them on socials, give them some love, because we, we love our spooky creators, you know? Next company is Backstitch Bruja, which if you guys have been around a while, you know I really enjoy them. I have a sweater from them. I have, do I have anything else from them? Yes, the Witch Mist shirt, um, but, I got this cute like spring a wing um, bag from them and you can use this either as like just a regular handbag, the strap attaches to the sides and you can use it as like a crossbody. But what I love and what really sold me was that there's a little thing on here so you can attach it and have this as like a backpack. And I took this whenever I went and saw the angel tree in South Carolina, post a photo here. I wore this as my little backpack on that trip and it was it was really, really comfortable and it's a pretty big, decent size. I have <laughs> my little ghosty, ghost cat thing from last year at Bath and Body Works. I have that on here. Oh my gosh, I just realized this candelabra. It's been in the way the whole time. Sorry about that. It's super cute. It's very well made. Now when you see the price, you're gonna be like, holy crap. Like this is the most expensive bag I've ever bought and probably will ever buy, but it is so well made. It's like all completely embroidered onto it. It's gonna really, really last. Um, I love, again, I'll show you. It's a nice, there's a nice big open pocket. It really opens wide, which is really, really nice. You're not trying to like look in this small little opening and scavenge for things, <laughs> especially in like an airport or just when you're out and about. I love this bag. Um, I don't know if they're on her website again. She she puts her drops every so often, but I, again, I'll link it down below. Hopefully, at least maybe next spring or something. Okay, so my uh, battery on my camera died, so I'm using my phone. Uh, I'm trying to hide all my dirty, my dirty house. 
Okay, let's go. This is gonna be so ignore the background. Oh, what I was talking about it. So, <laughs> backstitch, backstitch brew hot bag. Really, really love this one. It is nice and teal. I will say on the website, the orange looks very like bright pumpkiny orange. It is a little bit more like, especially this part, a little bit more peachy, corally. But it looks really, really pretty against the teal. So, just wanted to let you know in case you're seeing that on there. And you're, I know my question was, is this bright orange? No one ever answered me and I got it, but I'm still really happy nonetheless. Next thing we have, and I'm so very excited about this, because when I first saw it on Instagram, I was like, yes, I do need that. <laughs> you got me, Instagram. And this is from Ghoul Rising. They have some of the cutest things on there. There wasn't a ton on their shop, but enough that I was really, really excited about it. Um, I ordered it. I think there was an issue with shipping, and so she messaged me. Um, I name is Valerie I think the owner she was so sweet about it. she's like I'm so sorry about the mishap I'll, I'll throw in an extra little goodie for you so I was like okay so um we'll see what, what we got but the one item I, I purchased for and paid for I'm really really excited about Ooh, first of all packaging yes this is why we love small businesses because this is freaking cute we have what is this is this an ornament free coffee gift oh my gosh I think I know what this is it took me a moment <laughs> okay this is boo I think this is one of the things you can put over the cup and then put like cinnamon or something over it and do like latte art I can do some spooky latte art oh my gosh I will have to play around with this I'm not really drinking hot drinks hot coffee right now because it's so warm but in the fall Girl's gonna have some spooky, spooky coffee. I'm so excited. Ah, uh, look. Thanks for sporting a spooky business babe. I love this so much. Oh my god, this is adorable. Spooky babe mail. The thank you on it. Ah, let me open this. Ooh, this is very soft. This is the shirt I ordered. It says professional decor hunter. I just thought, oh my gosh, this is perfect for Halloween decor hunting. I need to have it. I got this in a, I think it's a medium. These are unisex sizes. Um, ooh, definitely smells like vinegar. So it's a screen printed thing, but I mean, that that just happens. So <laughs> for sure need to wash this before I wear it. But look at this. And that seems like a good size too. It's a really nice soft cotton. So. I am, I'm legit so, so excited to wear this. There's also another little, all the little details in here are just so, so cute. It has all their information. Again, I'll post um, all their like Instagram and, and webpage and all of that in the description, but there's that in case you wanted to go ahead and look at it. Super cute, Valerie. I love all the stuff. This is well worth the wait. I'm so sorry it took me so long to unbox it, but I was trying to wait for a couple other things and I wanted to put it all in one video, but ooh, girl's gonna be looking cute. Next time I have, this is not in their traditional packaging, but this is from M and Sprout. Oh, these are super soft. Okay, first thing I got are these really adorable bat print leggings. This is a really soft material. It's actually kind of light too. What is this made of? Polyester and spandex. Okay, actually these might be good for working out in, but they're long ones. But I think because it has legs they are, these actually might do okay like in this hot weather, maybe. But I love this print, it's super cute. I've been eyeing these for quite some time. And then when they brought out this other thing I'm gonna show you, I was like, well, might as well just make a, a purchase of it, so. These are really cute, absolutely adore those. This next thing is a pajama set. If you guys saw my video last fall, I will link it above wherever that will be. Um, I did an unboxing of some like witchy pajamas of theirs and they recently came out with this print. I got, it was a whole bat order. <laughs> but it's like bats with little flowers. It's really, really cute. So it's a, a top and some shorts. These are super comfortable. I got them in a large. I think last fall I got an extra large and they were good, but they were not too big, but I knew I could have sized down. So 
large will be just fine. These are really, really nice and stretchy. Shorts are a good length too. So soft. I love this material. I always enjoy purchasing stuff from them because it's such good quality. It's so adorable. It holds up really well. And again, the clothing has been like super, super soft. So highly recommend. Check the description. Last thing I wanted to show, um, this is more of a, well, this shows Easter. I'm not really sure why, but the company is called Odin's Eye and it is a makeup brand out of Sweden. I saw this stuff. They usually do a lot of very either like Norse related makeup stuff. So it, the, a lot of the names are different goddesses or anything related to the Norse mythology. Um, I just think it's really, really cute. I got a couple things I just want to show you. I'm not going to like play around with any of it on this video, but if you guys want me to try and do like an eye look or makeup look with this, comment down below. I'm happy to do that. I'm going to be playing around with it anyway. I'll show you what it looks like. All right. So the first thing I got was this Oh my gosh, how am I gonna pronounce it? Solmane or Solmane 2 eye palette. First of all, artwork is absolutely beautiful. And when I saw the color story that they have in this, I was just like, yes, I need that because I love those kind of colors. The back has all the eyeshadows on it. It is cruelty free, which I absolutely love. I'll show you all first. Oh. So it looks, oh no, it's a lot more vibrant in person than it looks on the camera. On the camera, it looks kind of pastel. I just love this coat because the theme is um, sun and moons. So we have like very sunsetty kind of colors here with the purple, the orange, the yellow, and then the moons again with kind of purple, blue. And I really, really love it. I just think it's so pretty and it will create a lot of really fun eye looks. The shimmers look amazing. I've heard really really good things about the quality of their eyeshadow like that they're super blendable so i'm really excited this is the first time i'm trying them out um again because they're sweden it took quite a while to get here <laughs> um other two things i got were two different highlighters so let me open these for you i know this is probably odd because they're not like an exclusively spooky brand but i love indie brands, especially smaller businesses um, within makeup industry. I really like supporting them. And once they do kind of like a witchy aesthetic, I'm really here for. And I figure some of you guys might enjoy it too. All right, so the first highlighter I got, this is H101 Moon Talk. I think this might be the kind of green one. I know that sounds so strange. Ooh, okay. Yes, yeah, so it has kind of like green reflex. I don't know if you're able to see them. I try not to blind you. See how it looks kind of goes kind of green. I love it because I have so many blue, purple, pink reflect kind of highlighters. I really wanted a green one. I thought that would be just super, super cool. It'd be fun, especially for like, I don't know, during Halloween, if I'm doing any sort of specific you know, Beetlejuice look or something, I think it'd be cool to have something with a green and smooth. Ooh, see there, you can see it. That is so, so cool. And I love the packaging. Again, they're really, really thoughtful in their packaging. It's super pretty. Open the other one. All right, so this one is called Azure, Azure Shine. That's so hard to say back to back. I think this one is more of like a bluey. Oh, it's a purple. I forgot, I couldn't remember which one I got. I thought this so, well, so long ago, it's taken like a month to get to me. It's purple, oh my gosh, ooh. Okay, it's like a purpley blue. Oh my gosh. Wait, let me see. Look at that. So shiny. Imagine those two together. If maybe I add a little bit more like a lavender eyeshadow underneath the purple and then put purple glitter and a little bit of green, that would be a fun like Beetlejuice look. So I really, really love these. I'm so excited. I know, again, I know this wasn't like an explicitly spooky brand, but I just want to show this to you all because I think you all would enjoy this. If you do want to see me do a look with the palette or these, comment down below. I'm happy to do that for you all. 
All right, that is everything for this month's spooky business shout out video. If there's any small spooky businesses that you would love me to support or check out, leave them in the comments down below. I'd love to find some new businesses. You guys are always sending me fun ideas on Instagram and I'm checking them out. I absolutely love it. I already have a couple pieces that are on their way here. So I'll be doing those for next month. But you know, a girl can always use more spooky in her life for sure. Oh look, with the sun. You can really see the purple. <laughs> anyway, I hope you guys really enjoyed that. Thank you again for watching. If you did enjoy it, please do give it a thumbs up. It really helps the video, helps people find the channel, and join our spooky community here. Also, if you haven't already, please do consider subscribing to the channel. As we get into Halloween decor hunting season, I will definitely be doing more of these spooky small business shout outs. I'll be doing decor hunting videos. I'll be doing some crafting videos, which are already in the progress. So definitely subscribe so you don't miss out on anything and make sure and hit the bell so you're notified when I upload. Thank you guys so much. I hope you're doing wonderful and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.